I'm going to show you how to do my sliding doorway transition. I'll get straight on with it. My settings in Shotcut are version 20.09, released in September 2020. Preview scaling is on at 540p. Proxy editing is on. Video mode is 1080p at 25 frames per second. Right, here we go. Here are my two clips on the timeline and here's the transition. Go to the end of clip 1 using Alt right and move the playhead back 14 frames by pressing the left arrow repeatedly. There we are. Split the clip using S. Move the end part up to track V2. Slide clip 2 across. Now select this bit, switch on the grid. This is a 2x2 two two grid. Go to filters and add a crop rectangle filter. Drag and move the boundary box by its edges. Cover exactly half of the screen and snap the box to the edges. Click on transparent and the lower track shows through. Now apply a size, position and rotate filter. Set up an end keyframe by dragging the black circle for the full 14 frames of the entire clip. Go to the end of the clip. Notice the playhead will stop just before the end at the start of the last frame. Click, hold and drag the grey circle to the left. Use the grid line as a guide to make a horizontal movement and snap it into place. So I'll just preview that and as you can see the image shoots across to the left. Now copy this clip, just select it and press C, then B. Then drag it directly above this one. Importantly, now make track V2 invisible by clicking the I icon. Select the top clip. The crop filter will be selected. Drag the crop rectangle to the right and make sure the four edges snap into place again. Now onto the size, position and rotate filter. Go to the start keyframe. Check that the values are the defaults by clicking here. Then go to the end keyframe. Drag the image to the right and snap it in place. Now I'll just play this and you can see the right half of the image shooting off to the right. Now I switch the visibility of track V2 back on and preview. Done. I can then export this as an MP4 video and here's the result. If you think the effect is too fast, I'll show you how to slow it down. Go back, say, another 8 frames, or you can go back more if you like. Extend this clip backwards by clicking, holding and dragging the left hand edge so it snaps to the playhead. Do the same with the top clip. Then click, hold and drag the right hand edge of this bottom clip, slide clip 2 across. Then select the size, position and rotate filter and drag the black circle to extend the keyframe for the full duration of the clip. Do the same for the top clip. And you've finished. And here's the final exported video. Again, I've added a whoosh sound to make it more interesting. And to finish, I'll play you the opening sequence again which features some of my sliding doorway transitions. Thanks for watching, see you again.